Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I'm going to give you some of my best profile for Lightroom and Adobe Premiere. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramani. I'm a French photographer from the amazing, the romantic, the incredible city of Paris, France, living in Los Angeles, California. I'm very happy because I've been working for weeks on creating profiles and I want to share some of my best with you. Here we go. Mesdames et messieurs, it's been a while that I've not been so much excited about something, profiles. Now, in case you didn't see my last video and you don't know what profile is, well, to make it simple, profile is a new option in Lightroom that can completely alter uh, the colors of your images. Now, profile has been used for many years in uh, videos because you see, uh, retouching a video is much harder than retouching a raw file. A raw file has a lot of data. A video has a lot less data uh, because it is, no, it's 24 images. So we used to use LUTs. So LUTs is lookup table. And what that did is completely alter the color and you were able to really change the color of your movies to make it, you know, like green, like the Matrix or CPL, like Gladiator, things like this. So they brought that option into Lightroom, uh, which is really cool. Let me just show you what I mean by changing the color. So this is a photo I shot in Florence and I've already done a bit of retouching. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna give you uh, some free uh, profile that you can install. And it's the photo search free pack. So if I just go through, check this out. Uh, I'm gonna go, for example, on this one called infrared magenta major free. You see how like, look at the uh, flowers. The red becomes blue, uh, everything becomes, you know, magenta. It's an infrared look, you know. Or, you know, this one, change the color, portrait Hollywood teal, check this out. This is gonna completely change the photo. Now, I'm only doing this, this is, you know, just to show you, but basically what you can do is, you know, let's say here, I want to change my green to put them like if it was warm in the oven. Before, all I could do was go to the, um, you and saturation, go to my U, take my greens, and I can play around with my green. I can make them a little more yellow, okay? But check this out. If I go now to my profile, and I go, for example, into the uh, landscape foliage yellow, check this out, I can, I can click on it, and everything which is green is becoming completely orange. And I have an amount slider where I can, you know, do it like completely crazy or not, or just a little bit. So it gives you a lot more possibilities to really change uh, your image to your liking, okay? You can go crazy or you can go very natural. I'm gonna give you and show you a lot of examples. So first of all, how do you install Profile? This is how you do it, it's very simple. You go to File, sorry, Lightroom, Preference. You go, uh, you click on the, the second time called Preset and click on Show Lightroom Preset Folder. And instead of going to what we used to do in the, in the past, going to the develop preset, you go up here to camera row. And camera row, you go to settings. So if you don't have that, that means you're not using, you should be using, let me see here, you should be using Adobe Lightroom 7.3 or above. I'm using 7.31, which is even more stable. Okay, so show Lightroom preset folder. If you don't have that folder, you need to update. You need to be a Creative Cloud member for this to work. Then you go up to Camera Row, you go to Settings, okay? I'm gonna give you, you can either buy my professional pack with all my uh, profile, or you can just download the, the free ones that I'm giving you. So once you download the pack, you see here it says Lightroom Profile. This is something I've downloaded from a website. So you got the free pack or you got the professional pack with over 80 profiles. Uh, you can see the offer on the video and you can just drag and drop this in the settings folder, Camaro settings, and that's it. You restart your Lightroom, you have to restart Lightroom, and the profiles will be installed. Let me show you something cool, and that's really how I work today. Uh, this is a photo I shot in Corsica. I'm gonna use one of my signature preset to retouch it. Just one click, and I got a great golden hour look over it. And now I'm gonna go to this new option on profile, and on this one, I'm gonna go to the light section, on my Pro Pack, I, I can check out La, uh, Night Magenta. I can click on it, Night Magenta, and you see I can go left to, to just add a little bit more warmth, a really golden hour feeling. I love how it makes the, the uh, earth kind of uh, more rich in colors. Or oh, I can go crazy on the right. 
Uh, let me see what else I can use here. So many options. I can go to Sunset Boost, which is going to give me also a great sunset. Or I can go crazy. I can go to Sunset Tilt Shadows. And look at this. It's going to completely change the color of my flowers. You know, it's just an example. And you, so you can see, you know, you can go crazy about it. You can go light about it. Uh, you can make it as a list. So I created uh, 80 different profile. So you've got this, the free section that you got here. And then you have the landscape, lights, uh, and then you have portraits and Herbert. Let me show you. I'm going to go to this photo. So this is a photo that I've retouched of uh, beautiful stairs in Paris. And I've done already some basic retouching. And I'm just going to show you the free pack. You see, if I just hover my mouse, you can see the different look it's going to give to the photo. There's some of them I really like. Some of them are not going to match, but some of them are really cool. And you can also go to grid. So you can see uh, with the free pack right away, you know, how they're going to look. Or you can even go to large to see them in big. And, uh, and as you hover, it's going to apply on the entire photo. I suggest you to work in green mode. Green mode is pretty cool. So, that, you know, it's very exciting because it's going to, you know, put your photo like I can just click on that and maybe just add a bit of blue or click on that and just add a bit of, you know, of red. You can completely add to the colors and really get the effect you want to go crazy or natural to your taste. Uh, let me take this example here. Uh, this is a photo I shot in Zion. I'm just going to open up the shadows on it. It's an HDR. So you see if I open up the shadows too much, it's going to go crazy bright. I'm going to bring down the highlights. I'm just going to do my blacks, my white, you know, maybe uh, add a bit of red and do a little gradient. You know, I'm just doing a really quick retouching to show you. And, um, and now I can go to my presets. This time I'm going to be using the uh, light pack again. So let's go to the light pack. Actually, let's go to the, I like to use the list because I know my presets. So uh, not landscape, the light pack, which is the biggest one. On this one, I'm going to use daylight to sunset strong, for example. Look at that. It makes like a crazy, I like the red rocks really coming out. Uh, or I think on this one, there's so many that can work, but I have another one. I, I tried sunset gold here, for example. Look at that. I love this sort of desaturated, still very reddish color. It's really nice. Uh, another example, this is a photo I shot in Hollywood. Uh, this is a virtual copy that I did. And on this one, I'm going to go to the uh, light pack again. Uh, I think on this one, I'm going to go to golden hour, blue clouds, warm sun. You see how it adds blue to the sky that was really missing. That's really cool. Or I'm going to go to uh, the opposite. I'm going to go to like, again, like sunset gold and make it a crazy sunset gold. You know, it's amazing. Let me show you now. I'm going to take the portrait pack. And so that's a portrait I shot in Milano. And I'm going to go to my portrait pack. So the portrait profile, I lighter profiled. They are less strong because, you know, you don't want to mess up too much. But, you know, look at this. Portrait blue, blue to green, blue to magenta, mid-tones, cold shadows, colder shadows, colder shadows too, portrait greenish, Hollywood magenta, etc. Hollywood teal. You know, it's just so many nukes you can do. On my landscape pack, I got different infrared uh, profile, infrared magenta colors, a green touch, magenta, infrared. You know, you get the idea. That's like really going crazy. But this pack not only works in Lightroom, but it also works. I'm going to give you a dot cube version that works in Adobe Premiere. If you look at the different files I'm giving you, you will see there is a video Premiere lots. Same thing, you got a free pack. And you got all the professional pack with over 80 different profile. All right, so I'm here in Adobe Premiere and I got two clips on my timeline. One from an iPhone 10 in uh, Venice and another one iPhone 10 in Cinque Terre. And you can add an adjustment layer. And that's really cool because it's kind of non-destructive. You put it over your clip. And on the first one, you just got to make sure, so you click on the adjustment layer, you got to make sure that your Lumetri color is open. If not, you go to Windows, Lumetri color. And then you have this option here, input LUT. I can click here, browns, and I'm going to go to my LUT pack. I mean, actually in my LUT pack on Premiere, you see they're all cube files. And for example, I'm going to take daylight to sunset light. I, this is the one I, yeah, this one for the first clip. 
and boom it's going to warm up the entire clip you can see the before and the after i love it and then i can just alt drag this over the next clip and this time i can just either use this one which is not bad or i can take another one like a golden hour warmer for example which i tried before and i liked you see yes i, I like what the colors of the village you see the before any after so for example i applied this is the same clip where i apply different presets uh, on drone shots that i did in the mont saint michel very extreme just to show you anyway it's really cool because you can use them in premiere you can use them in lightroom and uh, really profile i think is going to be a complete revolution because some of the looks that i'm getting i don't even know how to do in photoshop and you get them into lightroom you can just use how much you want it so get the free pack even better get the professional pack and check it out it helps support this channel thank you so much have fun create and take your photo to the next level using profile mesdames et messieurs au revoir